and welcome on my channel. I'm Katarina and today I will show you how to use this Meopta Flexoret 6 camera. It was produced by Meopta between 1961 and 1967 in Czechoslovakia and yeah let's have a closer look on it. There we go, that's the camera. First I'll give you an overlook about the functions and then I will show you how to load film. Let's start with the trigger. It's this part here. And you can screw in a fire trigger. Or just press it if you want to. Here we have this flash socket. You can put in a sync cable to synchronize your flashlight. By the way, there is a cold shoe, so you have to use the cable to synchronize flash. On the bottom of the camera, you have the focusing system. It's this lever which can be turned in both directions. And if you look like this, you can see how the lenses are moving in and out. There is also a scale in feet and meter here. And what's also nice is this scale here at the bottom, which shows you your depth of field in relation to your aperture, which will be set here. These black numbers here are the aperture. You set it by pushing this small lever here. The exposure time is set at the other side of the bottom lens and you just need to push this lever here to change the exposure time. Last but not least, there is a automatic release. That's this small thing here, which has to be pushed down. And then you have to push the trigger to get a six second of automatic release. At this side of the camera, we can find our film transport. It's this big knob here which has to be turned after each shoot. And there are two uh, counting systems here. This right one is for 120 roll film. And the left one is for 35 millimeter film. Exactly this camera can shoot both. You have to use a separate kit for shooting 35 millimeter. This knob is used for loading film. I will show you later. Here you can unscrew and open the case. It's really well secured by screwing and then pushing. This thing here is a reminder for which film is loaded into the camera. Um, it shows 60 here. When you load uh, 120 film and it shows 35, I guess, when you load uh, 35 millimeter. And you can turn this thing to remember the ISO things. At the bottom we have the tripod mount. It's just an ordinary screw. At the top of this camera there's the viewfinder. It can't open can open like this. It has a really nice grid inside. There is a small magnifying glass which is really handy for focusing. Since you have to look through this viewfinder from top, you most time have your camera at uh, your stomach. And sometimes it's necessary to get a higher viewpoint. So it's a possibility to open here and 
look through here and voila, you get your eyeline free point. Now let's see how to load film into this camera. You have to unscrew here and press until it opens. Then it looks like this here inside. You have got an empty spool from the last roll of film at the bottom. You have to get it out here by pulling here and put it at the top into this spool holder here. Fix it by turning here. You heard that noise. And now it's inside. Now we can take our new film. I'm using here this Ilford Delta 400. Looks like this. It's a 120 film. You have to put away this sticker. And then it looks like this. Now this row has to be put into the bottom roll tray by pushing and snapping in. You take this paper and pull it up here. Push it into this slot at the top plastic roll. And then you have to turn here until, until the film gets transported. Be aware of these two small white dots here and turn. Until this arrow appears. It has to be exactly pointing on these white dots. Now you can close the camera. And screw it. As you can see, this counting thing here shows zero. To get to your first picture, you have to turn here. makes a few noises and it will stop by its own at one. Now we are ready to shoot. Let's go outside. When you reach the end of your film, the camera shows here this red dot and you have to turn this knob here until um, the film is wrapped completely at the chop spool. You heard that noise? That's when the film comes off the bottom spool and a few more wraps and it's done. To open the camera, you have to turn this small knob here and then press it.
and it will open. Getting the film out now is just by pulling here and putting it out here. I hope you enjoyed that video and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any question, leave me a comment. If you are curious about what I shoot today, come back next week. I will show you how to develop this roll of film. And see you next week.